My name is Kent Hooper. I was born and raised in Cupertino, California, but I've lived in Nashville a few months shy of 25 years, so I feel like I'm a native at this point. A big part of my work is working for a local company called Essential Worship, and they do video shoots that happen on location at video and photo studios. We've done probably 20 of these sessions in the last couple years. Um, this month alone, we have three. The fly dates are always particularly fun and a little tricky because we have to work within the constraints of what you can check on an airplane and you have to watch your baggage fees. We're not going to a commercial studio where they just have all the gear and it's all available. So I've got to know exactly how many players, what are they bringing? I got to ask the dumb questions like, are you sure the guitar has a DI? Because that would be bad if it didn't. This position is like perfect for people like me that like to kind of solve problems. Like, because that's what I'm getting paid for. When it first started, they just needed an engineer. So they called me, we rented a Pro Tools HDX rig, we rented a headphone system, and every single thing we rented. And after about two of those, I realized there's got to be a more efficient way because the setup time was substantial. You know, we're plugging in 16 to 24 channels of XLRs into preamps and unplugging it, and the everything was dictated by the length of the snake. So Focusrite's kind of changed my world in that way. We bring in my 8-line, we bring a rack of Dante preamps, we've got a headphone system, and we can be completely set up to record anywhere from two to seven people in the room, and we can have levels and be done in a couple hours. And we've got it like categorized now. So like, you know, we've got tubs. So this tub is gonna go on the stage. It's gonna have the microphone and the cables and the ethernet cables for the headphone boxes. It's just like, we've got it so down to a science now. One of the biggest challenges is that where we go, I think they're called CYC walls. They're just a white wall that's curved, and so that's the look of the series that we do. And the downside of that is essentially it's just a big reverb chamber. It's very echoey, so I can't use condenser mics. Uh, we need to use direct on acoustic guitars, direct on bass and stuff like that. And any kind of microphone needs to be a pretty tight pattern. The other thing is they usually set up in a round so I've got to be really conscious about, uh, you know, the, the patterns of each microphone and where we place the singers relative to the drums. Uh, but all that stuff really matters. So the setup that we bring to these sessions, going through the details. So I have a Focusrite 8 line, which is my main Thunderbolt interface into my laptop. And we bring Dante preamps. We use the MP8R, which is remote controllable in a single space, which is great for traveling. We have the ISA-828, which is my favorite sounding preamp right now. It's just fantastic. Monitoring for these sessions is completely dependent on the space that we're in. And because everything's Dante, my only limitation is the length of the CAT-6 cable. So my control room can be anywhere in the facility as long as it can reach with the CAT-6. Before the R1, I would have a talkback mic in my makeshift control room to make sure I could talk to the talent and let them know that we're, we're rolling stuff like that. With the R1, it's got four different talkback routings. So when we do a shoot now, I've got a talkback to the band with the individual headphone boxes. I've got one routed for the label. I've got a talkback to the video crew. I'm using the R1 as my main headphone amplifier and it's a really powerful, strong, good sounding headphone amp. I feel like my role is kind of like threefold, like I gotta capture good stuff, obviously. I need to get good stuff to tape. I gotta make sure I'm doing what the label wants, but I think almost above that, I need to create the environment that the artists are like so happy. There's no gear problems, there's no tech challenges, and their headphones are always great. So many people coming out of college don't put enough stock in how important it is for the headphone mix to be great. Because if the artist is happy, you're gonna get something good. What we're doing is really what's done on a big scale. So like for a big TV shoot, but we're, we're really doing all of that in a portable rig with two of us. Everybody's got their own headphone box and they can all make their own mix. So they're taking care of that. And I'm having to make sure that I'm sending, you know, the right level of reverb to the guys, make sure the artists are happy. And then I'm working on the mix, being creative, and then my assistant's doing the quality control. And he can also record at the same time. So if anything ever happened with my computer, audio is still rolling and we have a safety. 
The most exciting part for me for these videos is that they truly are live. So many of the videos that you see on YouTube, uh, they're either lip syncing it or they record it live and they go back and replace stuff all the time. We've never done that. Every single video we've done is 100% live. There's no stacking, there's no overdubs. You know, I might do a little nip and tuck and post, nudging things, or if there was a, a, a wrong lyric or a, a bad chord, I could grab it from another comp, but it's truly live. I'm here to please the client. Like my job is to make the client happy. If I make the client happy and I make their job easier, they'll keep hiring me. And I think a lot of people don't understand that we're, we're all in sales to some degree, right? You know, we are all trying to, to please somebody. So uh, everything that I've done and bought is all to that end. What I love about Focusrite is that they're not done. They're not going to quit. Like if there's something that they can find a way to do, they're going to do it. And I just love being involved with a company that's like not content. The same way I'm trying to please my client, I feel like Focusrite's trying to do that for their clients. I still wake up every Monday like I'm just ready to work. I love what I do. I love how the learning never stops. Like when you learn one thing, there's something else you can learn. You know, every shoot that I do is different. There's different people, there's different acoustic environments, there's different challenges. And part of the fun for me is overcoming all that stuff. It's like, I feel like once you're done learning, it's the time to retire. Like it's something so fun about being involved with creative people and getting to use the tech to solve problems. It's, I don't know, it's just a dream.